Hey, what's up? This is Caleb with School of Motion here with another quick After Effects tutorial. If you're watching this video, then chances are you want to know how to export MP4s in After Effects. And I have good news and bad news. Good news is you'll be able to export your After Effects compositions into MP4s in only a matter of seconds. The bad news is you can't actually do this directly in After Effects. You have to use Adobe Media Encoder. Now, the reason why this is the case is because the MP4 video container is actually a delivery format, whereas After Effects is more of an intermediate software that you would use before sending your video to a video editing software and then giving it to your client. Now, practically speaking, this isn't always the case, and sometimes you simply need an MP4. I get that, and so in this tutorial, I'm gonna show you how to do it. So first things first, make sure you have your composition selected and go to Composition, Add to Adobe Media Encoder Q. This will open up Media Encoder on your machine. Now, if you only have After Effects installed, you may have to download Media Encoder, but it's really easy if you have a Creative Cloud subscription. So right now, our video, if we hit export, it would be in an MP4 format. Now, I know that may seem a little confusing because you see H.264 up here. And let me explain this a little bit more. H.264 is a video codec, which means it's a tool used to code and decode video signal. MP4, however, is a container format, which means it houses the video codec, the audio, and the metadata all in one place. Now, MP4s don't necessarily mean that your file size is going to be small. An MP4 file can be the exact same size as an MOV video container, but the codec has a lot to do with the file size. So if you go to H.264 here, if you kind of click on that text, you'll see that it pops up this kind of export settings window. This looks exactly the same as the export settings window inside of Premiere Pro. And go ahead and click on the format dropdown menu. Now, the format dropdown menu is a little misleading because it's not actually a list of codecs only or a list of video containers only. They're, they're kind of mixed in with each other. Um, so for example, the QuickTime format, the .mov format, is actually a video container and then you can go in here and select your video codec. Whereas the H.264 video setting is actually a codec and it is being exported as a .mp4 video container. And you can actually see what container your video is in by going to multiplexer and it'll tell you whether it's mp4, 3gpp, or whatever. So in order to export mp4, all you have to do is make sure you have H.264 selected and mp4 is your file extension right here and hit OK. And by default, you probably want to keep it at a high bitrate, and you can go ahead and export the file to whatever location you want. When you're ready to export, go ahead and hit this green play button. So let's check out our final video here. If you right click and go to get info, you'll see that the codec is H.264, the audio file is AAC, and the video container is mp4. So you could upload this to the web and use it in whatever way you want. So I hope you found this useful. If you want a handy guide for doing this in the future, I recommend going over to schoolofmotion.com and downloading the free step-by-step -step PDF that we put together for you. Or if you wanna learn more about After Effects, motion design, or just the industry in general, go check out School of Motion. This has been Caleb Ward. We'll see you next time.